Hello everybody, welcome to a new series of tutorials on 4Pocket's slow-mo effect. So it, this is a nice uh, um, effect from 4Pocket, it's also, part of it is also included in NURAC. So in this first video I'm going to give you an introduction on what you can do with the effect and then we will proceed in the following video to explore um, more the user interface and uh, how you can also utilize it to produce different effects. I have also a number of um, codes to give away in a competition. So if you are interested, please follow the instructions that you can find on the first comment um, on the video in YouTube. Um, not in the description of the video, but in the comment section. So if you don't see the comments, just expand the section. Okay, so here we are inside the AUM and uh, I have uh, created an audio channel and I, I have uh, actually selected a file player as an example and I've loaded uh, a WAV file of a composition I created with a core gadget. I have inserted the slow-mo effect or FX, which is the one of the latest releases from 4Pockets. Very nice and neat interface as we are normally used uh, from four pockets. As you can see, <clears throat> and is quite straightforward to use, but as I mentioned at the beginning of this video, let me give you an introduction of what you can do. So let me play a little bit um, um, the song so you know what it is and I have the effect off now. Okay, so let me activate the effect. It is set to slow down by twice. It is set to have a bit sync on, which I will explain in uh, the next tutorial. And the loop size is set to four at the moment. And the mixture between the original signal and the effective signal is halfway through. And um, what you will hear is that it will slow down the original um, signal um, to, in this case, by twice okay so let's um, click play and then i will enable the um the effect and you and then what i will do i will also move the mixer to right to the right so you can hear only the effect and not the original signal okay let's try <laughs> As you can hear, the signal has been slowed down by twice. You can do also that by four times. Or oh, by one and a half, which um, is very nice to create those type of triplet effect. And here I showed you how it sounds um, when you have a combined mix effect. And this is normally what you find from uh, those DJs which wants to create that uh, half time type of effect. So it's very nice that we have it now, not only inside new rack, but also as a standalone application with all the uh, features uh, um, that uh, of course uh, Four Pockets has developed for us. Uh, let me show you also the glide effect, which is really nice. It glides um, um, the original signal to the slowdown tempo that you have chosen. So really, really nice effect. Let me try again, because I set now the mixture to maximum, so we hear only the a signal which has been uh, um, affected or changed. Really nice, really nice. And you have a lot of other uh, functionalities like fading in and out, changing high or low frequency. You can also apply internal effects, which is really nice. And here you have the different effects. 
Okay, so for example, let's say that uh, I want to play with the EQ and also with the reverb. So let's try. Let's remove the glide effect and slow down by twice and let's uh, uh, activate this. And for So as you can see, really, really great uh, um, effects that you can achieve using slow-mo effects. So this was just an introduction. I see you the next tutorial where I go deeper in terms of going through each control, which you can find, which you find in in the user interface. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed, and see you next time. Bye.